Hi, I'm Julie, and this is Reggie, and welcome back to Read Life. So today we're going to give you a little cruising update and let you know why we canceled our cruise on Allure of the Seas. So, big mystery, we're going to let you know. Let's get started. So, all right. Cruise plans have changed. So what the heck actually happened? Yeah. <laughs> so we've been following, you know, in our last cruise video, we talked about all the different protocols that Royal Caribbean has in place and how it's a little bit confusing and how, you know, there's going to be a mix of vaccinated, non-vaccinated. We're not going to know how many people are vaccinated and not vaccinated. Where you're supposed to wear masks. I complained about that quite a bit in the last video about this. Where vaccinated guests can go, can't go, mixing, mingling, all that good stuff. So since then, there have been several cruises on both Royal Caribbean and Celebrity, which are essentially using the same protocols, although Celebrity, I think, is a little higher percentage of vaccinated. Um, right, based on the demographics. But if for people that don't know, um, the parent company is the same. Royal Caribbean International owns both Royal Caribbean Cruise Line and Celebrity Cruise Line. So they've been cruising, and in just the past week, <laughs> Several of their cruises have had several cases of COVID on board, um, primarily in fully vaccinated guests, but also in some non-vaccinated guests. And so that was one issue, and we can go into that in a little bit more detail. But the other issue was, as a result of this, they are changing protocols and things on the fly. So, Less they, than 30 days before the cruise is to, to say, was supposed to sail. Yeah, so they have implemented new testing for all passengers. So all passengers need to take, uh, uh, let me clarify, all passengers on cruises that are longer than four days. Right, five days or more. Need to have a negative COVID test prior to boarding the ship, within 72 hours prior to boarding the ship. Now, is that PCR or like PCR is, or antigen? So which I don't know which one. One of them is expensive and one isn't as expensive so, based upon where you take it. Right now, especially in Florida, I've heard in some other states as well. If you need to take a test for travel, uh, CVS is not charging for those tests. If you have to take it for any sort of CDC reason or anything like that, you can get the test for free. Um, the problem is there are not a lot of tests available. So the PCR tests you can get, but they're not guaranteeing that they'll be back. They're saying three to five days. Right. So the antigen test is the rapid test. And you can get the rapid test results in an hour but not every place has the rapid tests and not every place is processing the rapid tests. So some of them are sending them out to um, external labs um, and yeah. CVS has been appointment only, but there have been people that have said they weren't able to get an appointment or the closest one to them was 40 miles away. Um, so, which is fine since we know 30 days ahead, but they implemented this on a Thursday for cruises sailing on Saturday and Sunday. And Which those people were just left insane. scrambling. Completely insane. And we, and this is us being able to drive, we're, we were going to be driving to the port. So we weren't even flying in. I can't even imagine the stress, that extra stress that people are dealing with that are flying in based upon their schedules. Most people fly in a day before the cruise. Now they, they're going to have to figure out, okay, how am I going to fit testing into my schedule prior to boarding my flight? Or do I try to do something once I actually land in Florida? And what's the timing and the logistics of that? That's just way, way crazy to me. And this is just my opinion, PCR or antigen test? Uh, come on, that, what's the use of that? It definitely just seems like a CYA move, especially since if you're on a cruise that's four days or less, 
they don't really care if you've got code or not because you're going to be right. hauling butt off the ship before they can claim any responsibility. Exactly. So rather than kind of change their protocol to say, look, we're going to have 95 plus percent people that are vaccinated, primarily young children will be the only ones that are going to be allowed. It's kind of a free for all. And seeing some reviews and hearing from people that have been on the ships. Yeah. That is indeed the situation. People have no idea who's vaccinated, who's not vaccinated, who's supposed to be wearing masks, who doesn't need to wear masks. Um, it seems a little bit like a free for all. Exactly. And they are using contact tracing, which is great. I think that's a great protective measure. It's great. However, if, if the people actually wear their tracelets. Yeah. Because I read an article earlier today on Reddit um, from a cruiser that just got off, I believe it was the Celebrity Equinox, and they had an unvaccinated passenger that tested positive. Um, the, the cool thing was the actual contact tracing for the people that were wearing their tracelets, um, everybody that they tested was negative. Um, and I think the, all of the other people were vaccinated, yes. Um, but on that same cruise, there was a woman that was denied um, disembarkation to Nassau, apparently, because she hadn't been wearing her tracelet. And they didn't actually even really stress that it was really important to continue to wear this thing, other than um, things like, you know, don't get it wet. So like, don't shower with the tracelet on. Um, so it's pretty, it just seems random and crazy and I, I we didn't want to deal with that yeah there's i mean i get it there's a lot of things changing it's fluid it just seems like they're kind of randomly doing whatever they can to get bodies on board and like in another instance there was someone that reported they were on a celebrity ship that had seven covid cases and the last night they just canceled the show because covid and um, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm glad they're taking precautions, but I think if they took precautions earlier, they wouldn't be in that situation. Or just did what Carnival did. I mean, I think the whole, uh, them dropping back from 100% vaccinated to 95% with 5% exceptions that actually make sense so far, it seems to be working for Carnival. Well, except the okay. cruise that has seven confirmed cases supposedly is 98% vaccinated. Really? Yeah, so I think hmm. the problem comes in with the whole not requiring people to wear masks when they get off the ship and allowing people to kind of roam everywhere and do whatever they want, and then they bring it back on the ship um, because these cases were found uh, the second to the last day. Now, group. which ship was this? Uh, Celebrity Edge. Oh, it was on the Edge. Yep. Okay. So the, one of the differences may be with Carnival, the majority of those that are not vaccinated are children. Right. So they're not going to be probably in as many places as the clustering of adults where transmission is probably Who easier. Knows? I don't know. I don't know either, but that's kind of where they are. Now on the flip side, like I think Carnival's doing the right thing. However, you kind of don't know because they're not doing any testing. So there may very well be just as many cases going on on Carnival. This is true. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens on the Mardi Gras. They're sailing with 4,200 passengers and it is a regular Carnival cruise. The deck party was jammed, full of people. So. Um, the nightclub is open, also crowded. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I think the difference is that reports aren't coming out on Carnival until after people leave the ship. And then it's a lot harder to attribute to being on the ship. Um, but I guess people haven't either haven't been sick or if they've been sick, they have not been going <laughs> to the medical facility. Or having complained to the point where they're trying to get some sort of compensation from the cruise line for, you know, exposing them, whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So 
all in all, just with all of the, the craziness and the changes and just seeming like they don't really have it all together, we decided that now <laughs> was not the time to get on a Royal Caribbean ship. Right. As much as we wanted to experience the large Royal Caribbean ship experience, I mean, we, we wanted that experience, but... And not so much, like, I don't feel worried that we were going to get sick or exposed or anything like that. I was more worried about the experience being a lot less than it should be just because they don't want to inconvenience people that don't want to go ahead and get the vaccine. So um, once they get that all figured out, then perhaps we will look at them again. Exactly. So so there, we said there was a change, so what is the change? So there is a change. So instead of going on a lure of the seas, we have booked the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras. Which is exciting. The ship looks amazing. I don't know it if you've does. seen any videos or any footage. That ship looks amazing. I am excited about the different food options, the different restaurants, um, the way the ship is set up. They've got it you know, divided into different um, areas like French Quarter and Havana and yeah, all these different, different areas and they seem to be really well themed. Um, it looks like the, the space is split up nicely so that there's yes. like several smaller venues where you can kind of get away. Um, lots of outdoor seating and eating and relaxing and sunning and swimming areas. Um, the Bolt I almost briefly thought that it looked like fun, <laughs> and I don't do roller coasters, so I won't be riding the bolt. Um, we'll see. But the concept is pretty cool, and I think it looks like a lot of fun. I don't know. I might be convinced. We'll have to see. Probably not, though. If I uh, meet the specifications for being able to ride bolt, I probably will ride bolt, even if it's just to be able to report back to you guys to let it let you know how it is. Oh, um, you absolutely meet the specs. I can confirm 150. Okay, minutes. great. I was trying to give myself an out, but yeah. thanks for uh, And there's no cameras on Bolt, away. so I can videotape you while you ride Bolt. Well, that's And the casino, the yeah, casino is it's massive. amazing. It's and huge. It's massive. I think they said there's 400 slot machines. And the coolest thing about it is they actually have non-smoking table games on the non-smoking side of the ship. On the same deck. So there have been a couple of ships that, what is it, the Magic um, Horizon was opening after we did the initial cruise, I think. No. No? Magic Breeze. Magic Breeze. Um, I thought the Horizon was doing the same. No. Okay. All right. Got that wrong. Nope. But anyway, they've opened these additional casino areas, but it's one deck below the main casino. That just seems really weird. And the other thing about those um, annex casinos, they don't have craps. They had roulette and some of the other standard um, table layouts for probably blackjack, three card poker, those types of games. Um, but no non-smoking craps, which is my game of choice by far. Um, so not only does Mardi Gras have two craps tables, but one of them is non-smoking. Yeah, that is amazing for me. Um, and I say that as someone that 100% will play on the smoking table if the non-smoking table is either closed or not open. Or not closed and not open are kind of the same thing. <laughs> Closed or dead. <laughs> like there's only one or two people there, I will go to the table that actually has uh, additional people. Because um, I like playing craps with a full table. Yeah, I don't really like well, not the whole table. interaction, so that's why I'm not really big on craps. I don't want people talking to me when I'm gambling. Yeah. And I'm generally the talker, unless I'm shooting. If, I, if you see me on board, please stop and say hello, unless I'm shooting. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the, that's the, it's not big news, right? We're just a small family that has 
change their minds based upon data <laughs> and we're just sharing with you what huge news what, breaking what, cruise yeah, news exactly we're we're not doing any sort of clickbait titles or anything <laughs> like that just letting you know what we're thinking um and and how things are going uh, one other thing travel related um and it has to do with vaccination read another article um earlier this week i think it was thursday or friday where there were two Americans that were actually fined $20,000 each for falsifying vaccination records trying to enter into Canada. Don't mess with the Mounties. Do not mess with the Mounties. You have a much better chance of actually getting away with craziness entering the U.S. than you do entering Canada. And they'll Canada. be so nice about it. Oh, yeah. Just as nice and polite as can be. But you're going to jail. You're paying. They're taking your car apart. Don't mess with the Mounties. Yeah. Don't, and, and they'll be nice, but they also will let you know that they are very, very disappointed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That you broke the law. Yeah. And they're not going to be lenient. Yeah. And Canada will kick you out and not let you back in. Ever. They don't play. Forever. Like, these people are probably banned for life. It's going on their permanent record. Absolutely. Their permanent Canadian record, 100%. So I hope none of the, I hope that that's minimized with cruises, but because people have been stupid enough to actually try that, entering into another country, I guarantee that, some, that people have already done it with falsified documents for cruises. So another reason why we're... It is what it is. It is what it is. Exactly. So. So we appreciate all of you that watch our videos, that, you know, leave us comments, let us know things you'd like to see. We will be going to the Mardi Gras in a few weeks. So please let us know anything that you want us to check out, any specific information you want us to bring back to you. Um, if you have it booked, let us know. We want to hear about that too. And please subscribe to our channel because we know that 90% of you are watching, but you are not subscribed and we don't want you to miss anything about Mardi Gras because the ship is amazing. So thank you to all of you that have already subscribed. We appreciate you Absolutely. and we would love to have more of you subscribed and keeping up with our channel. So thanks so much for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching and for subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye.